network data management protocol and it allows you to attach to a NAS unit or network attached storage unit. So this is a unit that is not necessarily a, uh, attached to the server that you're backing up on. This is something out on the network itself that has its own operating system. But it cannot, for some reason, have a, an agent from Symantec uh, because typically they are uh, standalone devices. So we'll just go ahead and click Next. The server name, so you can put in the fully qualified name, and we'll just put in that one there. Click Next. Now, by default, it uses port 10,000, but you can go into the NAS administration and use that or something different. Also, you can have Backup Exec do a ping just to make sure that the server is alive. Also, you can choose a logon. You can either choose the system logon account if you've set up that username and password on the NAS unit, or you can go in and create a new one here. Click Add, fill in the information, and then click OK. After that, we'll click Next, and then click Finish, and then your NDMP device is ready to backup.